that couple over there end up with a contact and really in a hotel somewhere. That's play acting right now, but that couple over there is ready to work. <laughs> My first guest is a master tap dancer and Emmy-nominated actor. His show, Psych, ends tomorrow after eight years on the air. Take a look. Dude, I had something. A closure that represents changing the guard, perhaps. It's big. Not who we are as men, and certainly not what our friendship means, but... This is exciting! I mean, you could argue that this is the pinnacle of our careers. I mean, we've discovered treasure. How are we going to top that? I don't think we can, Gus. I've made a decision. It's a pleasure to have you here. Hey, that viral video that I showed my audience, uh, two strangers kissing for the first time, what's I'm, your impression? I'm not going to do that with you right now. Ah! No, had you ever seen it? I did see it. I oh. saw it on Facebook the other day. Yeah. Well, I mean, what did you think when you first watched it? I mean, I don't know if I could do that. I mean, I do that because of being active, but just walking in the room and somebody's logging that for history, you know, my kid's going to see that one day. They're going to be like, oh, Dad, you just walk in and kiss that lady like that, like that. <laughs> like that, like that? <laughs> You're coming upon the end of an eight-year run, a, a, a really good one, another really good one. How do you deal with the ends of these things? You know, uh, well, for me, I started in theater in New York. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to shows opening and shows closing. Yeah. So really, I've I learned how to take it all in stride. You know, when something ends, something has to end for something new to begin again. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just, yeah. Yeah. I just thanks for it. Now, mind you, mm -hmm. I've never been on a show that's ran for eight seasons. Yeah. So after, you know, the show airs tomorrow night, I might wake up on Thursday and be like, oh, my God! Yes. You know, I'm out of a job. You know yes. what I'm saying? So I don't know, but it's taking it take a stride. God is good. You know, yes. it's all you enjoy the journey of life. You take it as it comes. Um, what was your favorite episode? Can you name one? American Duos. Okay. By far. Yeah. <laughs> American Duos. Because here's why. Because. I got to dress up as Michael Jackson mm -hmm. from the thr from Thriller Times with a Jerry Curl and some penny loafers and tight red jeans. You see? Oh yeah. And I got to moonwalk on stage with screaming fans. I mean, they were told to scream, but you know, still. <laughs> and then now in history, there's only two people in the world who dressed up like that mm -hmm. and had John Landis behind the camera saying, "Action." Yes. Michael Jackson and me. Right. <laughs> so you know. That's true. Hey, and, I, and I, I'm, a huge, I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan, so that's how that ended up in the show in the first place. Because uh, I was following you. John Landis directed Coming to America. Yes, he did. And I wore a red dress. You see? <laughs> you, you were close to it. You were I was close. I was close because I was listening to you. I was saying, let me, let me challenge this. Because with that dress on one day, I did this at lunch. You know you see? And did you yeah. have on penny loafers, though? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're you right. See? Yeah, at lunch I did. <laughs> lunch I, did. Um, I came to work today. And they were just trying to water. Yes, sir. Okay. That's that's you. That's you. Yeah, yeah I know it's Hollywood. You gotta be not gonna sneak me to that kissing thing. Ah. <laughs> Come on, cat that ain't going down like that, cat. You got that bit on your mind. I think the lady from the audience to come down here who he's never met and lock one on him at the end of the deal thing. <laughs> yeah. As long as I get to choose. You have a girlfriend? No, I don't. No. Okay. Okay, that can happen. Okay. okay. I come in this morning and, and and they're ordering pineapples. What's that about? Well, that's the international welcoming food. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, that's how, you know, you always got to do it. And pineapples are full of delicious flavor. Yes. So yes. for Psych, I mean, that's like our little, it became our, our emblem, our flag, or, I guess. Uh, it started from the pilot, and it took on a life of its own. And every episode, it shows up somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Well, there's one here. Really? Somewhere. Really? Uh, yes, yes. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm listening, I'm listening. Not, not close. H how incredible that you've had this White House experience, and then... This wonderful, silly eight-year run, mm -hmm. totally different. Totally different. I mean, that's the joy of, of being an actor. You get to go into these different worlds. And I would never forget when we were doing The West Wing, John Spencer, mm -hmm. you know, definitely God rest his soul. Uh, he would always say, we wouldn't experience this if we were doing a cop show. Yeah, yeah. Because of all the amazing experiences that we had, because of the subject matter of the show. 
Mm -hmm. You know, we had been invited to the White House. I mean, I think Brad Whitford and Rob Lowe played basketball on top of the Supreme Court. Wow. I played basketball with Juwan Howard mm -hmm. and Martin Sheen and Rob Lowe right in front of the White House. Yeah. You know, we were filming an episode. And then next thing you know, you're in Vancouver and you have James Earl Day running around like a madman. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you turn around and now, like, I'm in New York with the Jazz and Lincoln Center All-Stars behind me. You know, with a band that's curated by Wynton Marsalis while playing Duke Ellington's music. Yeah. It's just, it's a gift that, uh, you know, God is, a, he's an amazing guy. He just continues to just blow me away with what he keeps to bring, bring in front of me. Yeah. Um, when you're dealing with a show about the White House, is it, is it a stiff environment? Is it, is it real serious? All the time? What, what, the West Wing? Yeah. No. You can't have, like, uh, you know, Rob Lowe, Allison Janney, Martin Sheen, me, <laughs> Josh Molina later on. You can't have us all on set. Mary McCormick. No. I mean, we used to play a game called Charging. During, during the show, we would play a game called Charging. So all, all throughout the day, it's like basketball. Right. If, oh. I, if you walked and you ran into me and I fell over, that was a foul. So you have five fouls and you're out the game for the day. And it was cool. Like, off camera was cool. Mm -hmm. But then it got to the point where it would be during the scene. So we'd be doing the scene, like, yes, Mr. President, yes, Mr. President. I'd turn around, and Allison would be standing right there. She'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time over there. Yeah. Um, and you quit college to yes. pursue. Yes. Yes. I left college during my junior year, you know, because I bring in always bring the funk was going to Broadway, and balancing the two was hard. Wow. And I really had to, uh, at that time, make a choice about whether I wanted to be an actor or pursue my business finance degree. So I still got my education because I left college and I rolled into acting school in New York at William Esper Studios while I was on Broadway for two years. But I plan to go back and get it one day. Yeah. You know what I mean? I plan yeah. to go back. Here, here's my thing. My nephew, my nephew right now, my nephew Julian, he's in, he's in a freshman in high school. Mm -hmm. And we always have friendly competitions. Right. So I figure as long as I commit to beating him to, the, to a college degree, mm -hmm. I'll be okay. I got seven years. You know what I mean? Yes. So Julian is on. You know what I'm saying? It's on, Julian. It's very important. <laughs> yeah. It's very important, and that's the message we want to give young people. And, and, and I Education wanna... is important. Yes, yes. yes. Education. I want to keep you focused on it. If you put this at your crib, this is something you really need in college. Just hold that. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. saying? <laughs> Oh, uh, Obama knew. Oh, that's yeah. you see what I'm saying? Okay. I always had this stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I put it up in the crib, and every time you see it, you say, Arsenio really wants me to go back to school. You see? I'm going to put this up in my crib, too. Watch. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, where's the beer, though? Where's the beer, though? Oh, I'm going to get you the beer. All right. Yes, it's in the dressing room. It's staying cold. All right. Uh, when we come back, Dulé and I are going to play Where You Going. But as we go to commercial, we're going to find a stranger for him to kiss. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you got to get <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God.